skin's very dry. I know. Do you need moisturizer? Yes. Okay. It's very bumpy. Hi, I'm Garrett. And I'm Nikki. We're fascinated by how other people live. So we're gonna try and find some really interesting living situations. And live there, experiencing a totally different lifestyle. To see which ones bring us closer together. Or push us further apart. This week, we're living in an RV. Why'd you emphasize it like that? I don't know. <laughs> I drove it here. Hi, my name is David and this is my RV. It's uh, 32 foot, fits six people very, very comfortably. I've never had anybody take my RV out and say, ah, oh, we didn't have a good time. It's usually an experience that they didn't expect and plan on doing so again in the future because they had such a fun time. Hi, Hi. I'm you? David. I'm Nikki, nice Nikki. to meet you. Nice. You guys wanna take a look? Yeah, yeah please, thank you. Come on in. We're spending three days in an RV driving around Arizona. When you think of RV, I think the destination you think of is the Grand Canyon. I think it's gonna be a perfect trip. If we're going somewhere, I wanna get there efficiently and quickly. RVs are all about taking your time, taking the scenic route. Like, if we wanna go see the Grand Canyon, let's just go see the Grand Canyon and then fly the hell out of there. People live in these things. My grandparents spent, like, months at a time in an RV. <sighs> I don't get it. It's not efficient, inconvenient, slow. <laughs> Oh, okay. What do you think it was gonna oh, be like? I don't know. Oh, wow, look at this TV. Oh, there's a TV. <laughs> and I fit. Yeah. Just kinda. right, basically. I think this is really gonna put Garrett's size to the test because there's no space in this. <laughs> I'm six, seven. People, we gotta start living bigger. I know everybody's like trying to downsize and stuff. Stop it. Now, this is the slide. Uh -huh. We're gonna extend it right now. What? Oh, no way! <laughs> This house is getting bigger. That's amazing. Obviously, there's not a lot of room inside of it. There's only one like actual bed, but then I think a bunch of other places fold out into beds, which is neat. Like a lot of things that have dual purposes. You need over here. This also turns into a bed. This will probably be where you're sleeping. Cool. I did measure it. It's eight feet across, so you have plenty of room up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. it's, it's super long. Wow, we were so worried about you. It has a shower, bathroom. I measured it. It is actually 6'10". Oh really? Wow, well that's gonna be great. Exactly, come that's in here, I wanna show you guys something. Right here. That's it? That's it. And then... I can do that. Have you had any toilet disasters? I have not. Has anyone else? They have not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the kitchen is complete. It's everything that you would expect inside of your kitchen. You got a refrigerator and a uh, freezer here. This is like a kitchen. It is absolutely a kitchen. What do you think it was gonna be? We're in a car and it's like safe to cook in here? Absolutely. When you move, everything needs to be fastened down. Pretty much, away. pretty yeah. much. You're, you're gonna hear some rattles on uh -huh. the road. You know, <laughs> it's okay. Okay. So I don't know how the RV works. Like it's got a water tank, it's got electricity. Like do we need to charge it like a Tesla? The only context I have for RVs are what I've seen in movies. I'm just really worried about a poop situation happening. Okay, fun part. Is that the poop hole? Nikki. I wanna make sure we get that down. <laughs> You're gonna have sewer and electricity and water. Okay. The alligator clip. There's the alligator, the matches. Back on. Normally when you pull up and you'll have a hole in the ground and stuff like that, you'll yeah. see a rock next to it. Okay. It's there for a reason. All right, you put this in the hole and then you just kind of put a rock on top. That's not gonna move What if move you don't around. put the rock on top? Don't, don't. Nothing. That's not what happened in the Ice Cube movie. <laughs> Given where our relationship is now, I think spending all this time together in RV will actually push us together. It is such like an obstacle thing. It's like we have to really work together to accomplish living in this motor vehicle. With this living situation, there are too many obstacles. I think we're gonna be at each other's throats. All right. Let's go. I'm coming back here. We basically have to like fasten everything down while we're driving. Oh God. Are you already falling over? Yep. You're just gonna sleep the whole time I drive, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not like a bad driver, but this thing is so big. Garrett can drive it. This is his sized vehicle. You sure you can drive this thing? We're gonna find out. We're on our way to the Grand Canyon. On a scale of one to 10, how scared are you right now? It's like an eight. I don't know how I'm gonna make <laughs> this turn. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I don't, you gotta, I can't see the mirror. Oh my God. Okay. The drive wasn't so bad. It's a lot of vehicle. You won't hit that car. I think I will. I don't think so. Look at you, driving a bus. Yes, look at me. This is finally like a U-sized vehicle. Wow, does this feel dangerous? You're doing a great job. Keep your eyes on the road. Oh, I'm already tired. I'm 
I'm gonna go take a nap in the back. <laughs> ah! Am I allowed to be back here while you're driving? The people in the car behind us can definitely see me. While Garrett was driving this afternoon, I like laid down back here, but it's like a really bumpy ride. So everything just felt like super crazy and everything was shaking. I actually was like really happy that Nikki was able to like lay down and nap while I was driving and like be comfortable because then it doesn't feel as cramped. It doesn't feel as sort of arduous as a road trip can feel. At first I was very nervous driving this thing, but then after just like 10 miles, I was very comfortable doing it. We made it. Garrett drove us to the Grand Canyon. Couldn't have done it without you asleep in the back, Nick. It was so bumpy. <laughs> it's very dark and I have no idea where we are. But now we gotta go hook up the poop hose so Garrett can poop. I don't think Garrett's used the bathroom yet. I think he's scared. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> There's the water. There's That's that for rock. the poop. There's That's the, the rock poop he rock. was talking about. What do we do first? Um, water and water and power. Let's water and power. Who? Okay. Uh. That's where we put the power. But. Hmm, which one's thirty? There were a few like learning hiccups about how to hook up this machine transformer bus. <laughs> this is hard. It goes in both ways and it doesn't turn either way. Let's do the water. What? Hooking it up to the system was like a little weird. All right, it's accepting it. <laughs> we have water. It seems to be leaking pretty. Do we pretty... just leave it? Maybe shut it off for a second. We had a couple hiccups, but I think that was just because we'd never done it before. Now, if we like had to hook this thing up to any place, anywhere in the country, I think we'd be able to do it without issue. There you go. We've done it. RV. <laughs> Garrett and I are really figuring out each other's quirks, I think. He eats like a 14 year old. All he wants to eat are cheeseburgers. All right, well, this is going great. Yeah, it always goes great for you because you just sit and watch me cook. There's no space for me to help you. Do you want me to stand right next to you and watch burgers brown? Yes. No, sit down. And Nikki and I started getting in like tiny little fights a little bit. He and I can pick on each other and it's fine. I'll sit back while he makes dinner and does all the dishes. <laughs> Those look pretty good, Nick. You see? Oh, shit. Just fan it, fan it. Don't move, stop, don't, don't. Why are you, stop doing it still. Oh, ventilation. <laughs> okay, well now we found something for you to do. <laughs> It's maybe even a sign of friendship progress when you can get in little fights with your friends and know that that's going to be fine. Not that that's a good thing. <laughs> when I like try to do stuff, he'll be like, no, why would you do it that way? I'll do it. He wants to be in control and he wants to be in charge, so fine. I'm sick of cooking dinner for her. So tomorrow we'll get up for a sunrise? Yeah, tomorrow let's see the sunrise over the Grand Canyon. Cool. Okay, good night, Nikki. It's the morning of the first day. <laughs> We're going to miss the sunrise over the Grand Canyon. I think this was a pretty optimistic plan to begin with, because I don't think Nikki's ever seen the sunrise. I'm gonna still try to get this thing unhooked so that we can drive around the Grand Canyon for the day. Well, we're all unhooked. <laughs> Ready to see the sunrise over the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Looks like it's already pretty risen. Meanwhile, Nikki sleeps. Grand Caymans. Wow. So it's about 8.30. I think Garrett drove us somewhere because we were definitely moving. I guess he's seeing the Grand Canyon by himself, which is kind of frustrating. I know that I kind of made it so that our plan fell through. Like the least he could have done would have been like, hey, I'm gonna drive us across the park. Is that cool? There's no water. So he decided to do all of this on his own and now I'm kind of trapped. <laughs> He's very much used to kind of doing things on a whim. It just so happens that him deciding to do something by himself also meant like dragging me along in the back while I was half asleep. So you were awake when we were driving? Of course. And you didn't want to ask what we were doing? How? I don't know. <laughs> Saying anything? We're all in one room. You could have said, hey, we're going to go somewhere. Is that cool? You were asleep. I don't want to wake you up. 
you so you unilaterally decided to do stuff without telling me? We had made a plan to see the Grand Canyon and she didn't wake up. But I'm trying not to become defensive about things. Right, let's go. Where's my hat? My hair looks terrible. Okay. Behold the Grand Canyon parking lot. So you slept pretty good? Were you cold? No, it was fine. Did you use that electric blanket? Yeah. Boy, it's really gonna be bad if you don't like this thing. Why wouldn't I like it? I don't know. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh my god. That's huge. It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Portrait mode's pretty cool. I don't know how things are between us now, like if we've taken a step back or if we're back to where we were. I don't think we'll know until tomorrow. I was frustrated and I was upset. I just need a little bit sometimes and then I can participate and then I can be involved and I can be invested, but Grand Canyon's kind of amazing. Wow. Uh, that said, there's really not much to do but look at it. Eggs. The kitchen is, I'd say, like not the worst kitchen we've had to live with. Wait, turn this it. to gas. Oh. Is one lit? Is one on gas? If one's on gas, turn it off. They're all off. I'm starting to understand a little bit more why people enjoy RVs, and there's definitely been parts of this experience that I've enjoyed, but a lot of it's still very challenging for me. Actually, living in this RV has been a little bit rockier than I thought it was going to be. We'll see tomorrow if it's really like brought us together, actually sort of done damage to our relationship. I think I made the coffee too strong. No such thing. Uh... Whoa! Both Sorry, of you? That does smell strong. That's not what it should taste like. Next time you decide to drive the van, can you tell me first? I want to let you sleep. <laughs> okay, well when you drive, I don't sleep. <laughs> or just tell me next time. You can wake me up. Okay. I didn't wake you up. Oh, my knees. Should get you a little stool. Yeah. Thanks for doing dishes. Thanks for trying. I don't think either of us knew the type of relationship investment we were getting into when we decided to live in this RV together. Over the course of the day though, like it got better. Nikki, hmm. wanna go for a ride? <laughs> Look at her go. Fun? So I have enough room in this bathroom to do my hair, which is nice. Quarters are a little tight still, but I can at least do this. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. Good luck. How am I gonna do this? This is taking some planning. <laughs> this is so stupid. I forgot to lay out a bath mat. Oh God. <sighs> We've gotten really good at like connecting the house up to its like inputs, which seemed like something that we would never get good at. There still feel buttons and stuff that I don't know how to work. So I'm very thankful that Garrett knows how to use them and work them because he's been kind of taking the reins on being in charge of functioning the vehicle. Water, power, TV, RV. High five. Shall we transform the area? You want to transform it into beds? Yeah. Tomorrow we have a lot of work to do to clean up the RV and to pack up and to get out of here. We are going to refold everything up, unhook everything. Oh, my nose is bleeding. Are you still filming this, you fuck? <laughs> Morning of the third day. Hopefully Nikki will wake up and make his coffee. This has been a very interesting experience. Look at it go. This is my favorite part of the RV. I definitely understand the purpose that it serves, and I totally understand why there are so many RVs in this park right now. But that being said, man, it's been a challenge. This is probably the most different living style we've done. It's all in all a small space, but pretty efficient. We really had everything we needed to live. The Transformer! This feels like something you do with people that you know you can piss off to no end and have them still love you at the end of the day. I don't know if we're there yet, and I don't know if this was good for us. This whole thing rocks when you walk back and forth. This thing? Yeah, you giant. I don't think this RV brought us closer together. It almost pushed us further apart. It's been a challenge. I don't know where we go from here. I think he and I are really ready to be alone and to be apart from each other right now. I just need to know that she's never gonna wake up for a sunrise. What am I thinking? <laughs> the Grand Canyon is breathtaking. 
It's unbelievable. Nothing does it justice except for going there and standing on the edge and being like, oh my God. I and mean, you gotta do it at least once. You don't have to. Live your life however you want. This experience has been very beautiful. We're seeing a part of the country that I've never seen before. The Grand Canyon is unbelievable. Driving through it's been really fun. That said, I want to get back to my house so badly. Bye. Bye RV. Next week on Home Buddies. Arcosanti. What is it? It's almost as if we're like citizens of a new city. We'll have you work in construction tomorrow. Can I ask how much rent is? $300 a month. Wow. I don't think Nikki's going to like this. I'm getting some like pod share vibes. I'm really afraid that at the end of three days, I'm not going to know what this was.